Beware Comfortable Crutches. I think I have said this before in a, vi in a video, but this keeps coming up. Uh, a comfortable crutch is a compromise you make, something you do to survive, to deliver, to get better based on current constraints and compromises, but you enshrine it. You make it so comfortable that you're never motivated to fix it. Or even worse, you forget that it's a crutch. We're seeing this right now all over the place with how people are using Git, particularly how they are branching. So if you uh, remember what we're supposed to be doing with our code, uh, the concept of continuous integration, which means to integrate continuously. And why do we do that? Well, we do it so that we can get fast feedback, so that we're all getting as close to done as fast as possible, so that we um, are motivated then to automate our tests and make sure that our code is clean and stable because other people are depending on us. Uh, we do it so that we uh, see design issues, coding issues, implementation, even requirements issues earlier so that we can correct and recover from them before we've sent good money after bad whole pile of things, the whole reason we do continuous integration. The moment we branch, the moment we start coding locally even, we've given something up. And we've given up that real continuous feedback. So in an ideal perfect world, we would all be like coding on the, the same computer with a bunch of different keyboards and the same, same file share. So the reason we give that up, the reason we might branch, the reason we might code locally, normally has to do with scale and complexity. And as we add scale and complexity, things get harder and harder. That does not mean that that's ideal. And what we should be aiming for is coping strategies that get us able to deal with scale and complexity with the minimum amount of integration delay. So that means getting our code together as fast as possible uh, while dealing with that kind of mess that normally involves um, getting really good at automation, at designing and planning together, uh, having good backlog refinement techniques, shared workshops where we're actually um, bringing all of our heads together. It might mean simplifying your code base so that things are a little bit more independent and can be worked on independently. Lots of things, but what you should not do is just assume as a given that this is just how it is that you should just have long running feature branches out there where teams work for months and months and months or in, even worse individuals for months and months and months on a piece of software. And then when it is done, you merge it back into some kind of a main line or a developed branch. And then you test it oftentimes manually and you see what's broken and you go through code reviews and pull requests to get there. That is a way of working. That is a massive compromise and one we shouldn't just accept. We should be looking at ways to merge um, feature branches if you're using them very quickly within a day or two, figuring out how do we get teams working on the same feature branch rather than individuals, um, figuring out how do we get regular pulls in so at least we're getting feedback on if builds are failing or tests are failing as quick as possible. How do you make it so that pull requests are no longer necessary so people are more motivated to push their code and get that feedback? How do you get automatic feedback from your build so if something fails, it is self-healing or rolls back so that people can continue working? Uh, how do you build stop and fix behaviors and shared accountability? How do you start designing together so that stuff happens less often? And even more so, how do you increase your talent density so you're no longer worried about having to code review every line of code that goes through because you know it was written with a pair of highly skilled developers or a team of highly skilled developers and that their code is of quality and where they might make mistakes, you have automation to fix it. Don't give up. This is not how it's supposed to be. It's not okay just because Git makes it easy. There are lots of things that we should keep pushing for and keep challenging to keep getting better and better and better. Otherwise, you'll have that crutch forever and you'll keep adding more crutches to it. 